Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. It's Sunday evening. We all know what that means. It has come time for the work week top and bottom of the decorating. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. So it's Libra season. Libra is an air element. I will start with the air elements and go around the wheel accordingly. If you do not know where your sun sign falls as far as the elements go, I will shout the elements out as we go along through the decks. I use five of them. One for each element, one to clarify. So, if it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Do not take with you what does not belong to you. If it is not your story, it is not your story. If you would like something that you think may resonate a little bit better, check your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. And I will say it again do not take with you what does not belong to you. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What messages do we have for you guys for, oh gosh. I never remember to do this. I am so sorry. I have to check the calendar. I never remember to do this beforehand. This is a regular thing here, too. Um, October 5th through the 9th. Monday through Friday. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 5th through the 9th. Four of Pentacles and the Fool. You might be dealing with an Aries, possibly an Earth sign. Huh. Weird. Holding on to something, could be emotions, could be money, it's a general reading, take it however resonates, but you're taking the leap anyway, fixing to jump, go on a new path, but you're guarded. What's up with that? In the past, we have a queen of pentacles in the upright and a ten of wands in the reverse. More earth energy, more fire energy. Huh. There were the catch. There were everything you wanted. But there was something here you just couldn't release about it. Maybe they couldn't release something. The burdensome cycle didn't end. Something that couldn't get off your chest, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Well, what about the here and now? Right here, right now, in this moment. Seven of Pentacles reversed. King of Swords in the upright. Losing patience, making non-emotional decisions, more earth energy, a little bit of air energy thrown in here. Losing patience, something just isn't fruiting, isn't sprouting, isn't going the way you want it to, maybe not at the pace you want it to, you're making a logical non-emotional decision. Huh. 
holding on to something, but you're walking the new path. What's coming in this week? What's coming in this week for my air sign friends? Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the upright. Caught off in communication. And we're taking the walk by the river. Hmm. Hmm. Walking away. Cutting communication off, walking away, taking the new path. Making an unemotional decision, your patience wore out. Huh. Very curious, air signs. I'm very curious. It's a very curious reading right now. I'm able to connect it, but I'm curious. And they're everything you ever want, but there's something that just didn't end. There's a burdensome cycle that didn't end. Perhaps not getting something off the chest. Something. Wands or action. Wands or action. I'm not going to clarify every card. I'm just going to clarify the one that's sticking out to me right now. And that Ten of Wands reversed is sticking out like a sore thumb. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Why do you shuffle and cut if you're just going to free them anyway? Well, that's just how I roll, y'all. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here for my air sign friends tonight? For this week, October 5th through the 9th. Why is the Ten of Wands here for in the past? Knight of Wands. Oh, there's a whole lot of wands. That's not the knight you want. It's a knight of action. He gets up, he goes after what he wants, he gets it done, he does not hang out long. He, she, pick your pronoun. However, it's resonating with you. They were the catch, all right, but mm, something they didn't get off their chest. Could have been some player ways. Cycle didn't end. Can I get one more? One more. Six of Pentacles reverse. Something was uneven in this connection. Something was not equal at all. Could have been attention, could have been having to do with money. Maybe they couldn't give attention because maybe they didn't end a cycle somewhere else. I mean, they're a catch after all. Maybe that's why you're holding on to them or you held on for as long as you did because down here in the present, you're you're losing patience real quick, and you're about to just make a non-emotional decision. That makes me have to clarify down here. Can I get one for the Seven of Pentacles reversed King of Swords? One card to tie these two together, please. One card. Okay, well, give me three. That's fine, too. I got a moon. The moon flipped. Too many unknowns here. There's smoke and mirrors involved in this. Smoke and mirrors. Five of Cups, Empress. <clears throat> smoke and mirrors, too many unknowns. Maybe you're just crying a lot. You're lonely. They... 
You're trying real hard to focus on the two cups of blessings, but those three spilt cups. Mm, things being uneven. Things are uneven. They're spilling more than they're filling. Spilling more than they're filling. That Empress card, though. What's the Empress about? What's the Empress about? What's the Empress about? Give me one for the Empress. Temperance reversed. It's, it has potential. But that's the second card of impatience. You don't want to wait this out. You're just like, you know what? It, it, the smoke and mirrors and the sadness and the spilling more cups than they're filling. It's causing negative energy between you. You've grown impatient. One more. See, you know, I never clarify just one. It's like a bag of chips, you know? Who just has one chip? <laughs> not this girl. <laughs> Trust me, not this girl. You can't have just one. I'm not taking 20 cards. I'm not taking 20 cards. You're going to give me one. <laughs> I don't care if all five of them made sense. You're going to give me one. There's 72 cards left in this deck. You got to have one to help me help this make. Thank you. King of Wands. Could be confrontation. Could be. There's a lot of wands on this table right now. A lot of fire energy on this table. Could be certain things of a certain nature. Sugar and spice, everything nice, all that. Could be. While well, you're losing patience with it. And the Knight of Wands already came out, so. You think the Knight of Wands is the playboy? The King of Wands. He's, he, he loves attention. I'll put it to you that way. He loves attention. He's always going to be the center of it. Page Pentacles reversed. Things may have gone stagnant between y'all because, well, they got stuff going on in other places. Possibly. I don't want to say somebody's cheating. But that's the vibe I'm getting. And I don't sugarcoat anything for anybody. The potential is there. But you're taking the leap. You're getting sick of it. You're walking away. I see you cutting communication off and walking away this week. One card for the Knight of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups. Chariot reversed. Cutting off communication to fix a walk away, but you're splitting in two different directions here. You're not quite sure which path to take. You know you got to steer that chariot somewhere. You just don't know where to steer it. Because you're still holding on to something. You're ready to take the leap of faith, but you're holding on. What are you holding on to? That's not for me to know. That's for you to figure out. I, I can't tell you what you're holding on to. You know what you're holding on to. If it's resonating with you and if you're holding on to something, you know what you're holding on to. One more. One more. Pentacles reversed. 
all four of them. You're letting go. You're letting go. Let's get your advice. One off the top, one off the bottom. <clears throat> Page of Cups in the reverse and the Empress in the upright. The Empress has shown herself. She's shown herself again. You know what the Empress does? She births things. She's, she's always pregnant. She's always pregnant. New ideas, new paths, new selves. So your advice here... is to not worry about all those cups right now. Don't worry about filling cups. Don't worry about taking cups that people are trying to hand to you. Work on you. Work on this new you that you're trying to birth for yourself. That's sound advice, y'all. That's sound advice. The Emperor in the upright and the King of Swords in the upright. You think the King of Swords popped out again. You know what else the King of Swords does? Not only does he make logical, non-emotional decisions, but he cuts people off the knees or off the neck, you know, wherever the sword decides to swing. With this emperor and this king of swords hanging out together, it's time for you to take charge of you and do you your way. Do you your way. Be honest with yourself about what you want for your life and your journey and cut out the things that no longer serve you. So if you're holding on, you got to let go before you take that leap. Because the difference between holding on to something you don't need to hold on to and letting it go before you jump off that cliff is how you're going to land. You want to land on your feet or you want to land on your face. It's up to you. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards, kids. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What does the universe have in store for you October 5th through the 9th? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 5th through the 9th, 2020. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Devil and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with an air sign. That devil. The devil represents a powerful connection. Potentially toxic. Potentially. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Could be just a sexual connection. I'm not going to dance around it. I'm not going to dance around it. It's what the card means. But it's, it's a soulmate connection and it's binding. Could be some obsessive behavior. On your part or theirs. No. And then there's the Queen of Swords. Gosh, she's beautiful. Gosh, she's beautiful. But 
she she speaks truth and she seeks truth and she has a sword and she knows how to use it and sometimes she uses that sword to again cut out things in people that just don't do it for her anymore What happened in the past? Nine of Pentacles in the upright, justice. Sorry, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, justice in the upright. <clears throat> Could have been a little bit of codependent energy going on. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can speak of codependence or lack of emotional or financial independence in a situation. Justice. Could have been a lever involved. Justice often pops up when playing fields need to be leveled, scales need to be balanced, when things weren't always just. We're going to throw a clarifier on that because right now she's sticking out like a sore thumb. Let's see who else sticks out. The here and the now. The four of wands in the reverse and the world. Okay. It's making sense to me now. Doors are slamming shut. The Four of Wands in the reverse for me is like the Minor Arcana Tower. Foundations are shaky. Could be a disconnect between soulmates going on here. And the World card, of course, it speaks of the beginnings of old, sorry, the ending of old cycles and the beginnings of new ones. It's where everything wraps up like a pretty pink package. Y'all going through something right now, aren't you, water signs? Y'all going through something right now. Obsessive, oppressive, potentially toxic. Truths could be coming out. People are getting cut out. Things are getting cut out. Hmm. All right. What's coming in this week? Five of Cups upright, Knight of Swords upright. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. I love it when y'all make me gotta clarify. I love it. I see sadness. The Knight of Swords and the Devil are kind of, kind of linking up for me here because the Devil speaks of obsessive behavior, and the Knight of Swords is known as the Great Stalker of the Tarot. So, possibly somebody's peeking in on your social media, or looking over your shoulder, watching your every move, or vice versa. There's obsessive behavior going on in the next week. Possibly having to do with sadness, towers falling, chapters ending. Let's get a little clarity. Some going down. Some going down. Universe, source, and spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my water sign friends? Please, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Two more shuffles, please. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Oi, come on. Alright, this is why we clarify. Why is the justice card here? Nine of Pentacles upright. Oh, wow. Possibly someone was being oppressed 
and being made to feel dependent or be dependent and someone or something came in and said no more leveled that playing field out and you've you found independence a little bit. It's the vibe I'm getting off that. Throw one more on that. Um, Ace of Pentacles reversed. I mean, why not? Back porch. Did you take the house plan outside? Did you say enough's enough? Did you say I got nine of my own pentacles? I really don't need yours. Is that one went down? No one went down? Is that what led us into this little uh, tower moment, potentially? Closing of a chapter we're leading into here? I don't think this is your obsessive energy, water signs. I think this is somebody else's. I get one card to tie this four of wands reversed and world card together please oh my hold on ten of swords the worst of it's over whether it's in this moment just happened or about to happen because this is like the present you know within hours within a couple days the worst of it's over towers fallen chapters ended for at least one of you the sun is starting to shine again for one of you What about this week? Can I get one for the five of cups, please? Nine of swords reversed. Oh, well. One more. Page of Swords upright. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed here? What's up with that? Emperor. Good. There's going to be sadness, but there's still two full cups. Regaining control. Because you got nine pentacles, and you know you do. I don't think you're going to allow yourself to be manipulated or controlled anymore. That's a bonus, for real. Going to come out of that state of worry and fear and sleepless nights. Twofer came out. Three of cups reversed and the five of cups. I think the other person's not faring so well emotionally from this disconnect. Yes, reading. Oh, 
Okay. I'm in the middle of a reading. Sorry. Six of Swords in the reverse popped out. Someone may attempt to make a return. Somebody may want to come. Someone may want to come off of that back porch. Yeah. Mm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I think I will sit out on the back porch. Okay. You do you, bro. He comes in here to watch the big TV and sleep during the day when I'm not here. Because I have the comfy bed. Anyway. Can I get one on this Knight of Swords, please? I apologize for the interruption. I still don't quite know how to work that pause button. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? want to take four cards <laughs> well that's why they're watching you eight of wands reverse no communication six of pentacles reversed they don't feel like things are equal in this connection all of a sudden four of swords reversed they're restless empress they they want to grow they want to make this happen What is a huge release for you, not so much for them, I'm feeling. I'm watching your every move. They're a little bit obsessed. Hmm. Okay. Well, with that, Water Signs, let's get your advice. Queen of Pentacles in the upright and the Four of Swords in the reverse. You are the catch. You are. You're wonderful. You're good looking. You have your pick. And they know it. And they're probably a little bit restless about it. Don't let their restless energy oppress what you know is true about yourself. Don't get sucked back in. Three of Wands in the upright and the world in the upright. If anyone's feeling any unsteadiness about closing this connection out, don't because there's a ship coming in for you but the ship can't get here until you close this out the ship of the next chapter of your life is but a wave away water signs this is what i have for you friends for the upcoming week that was beautiful that was beautiful i liked it i liked it a lot Fire signs. Aries, Lewis, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 
October 5th through the 9th. Come on. Then we don't want to shuffle one more time. Yes, you do. Thank you. Cooperate. Thank you for your cooperation. Queen of Swords reverses at the bottom of the deck. Let's see if she comes back out. I think with this chaos between the moons we got going on here, going to be a lot of changes being made for a lot of people. Five of Wands in the reverse, Strength in the reverse. So perhaps for some of you, some squabbling has ended. Maybe y'all just throwing weapons down because you drained. Man, I'm thinking somebody's a little bit over it. They're over the chaos. They're over the feuding. They're done. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Possibly another fire sign. What happened? Seven of Pentacles upright. Seven of Wands reverse. drop of a hat, things were fruiting, then they weren't. Chaos, something went out of control. Hmm. Throw a clarifier on that in a minute. High Priestess in the upright, Nine of Swords in the upright for the here and the now. <sighs> Intuition could be speaking to some of you. This is one of those connections indeed. All up in your head, I think your intuition's screaming at you. If you are able to sleep, it's in your dreams. Consuming your thoughts. The wondering why, what happened? Things were going so well, then they weren't. That's where you're at right now. Hmm. Throw a clarifier on that, too. All right, what's coming in this week? Five of Cups reversed, Two of Cups upright. Hmm. Well, that's fun. Potentially a new connection coming in. We're going to throw clarifiers on that, too. How do you go from it consuming your every thought to coming out of a state of sadness? Huh. Universe, source, and spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards and the table for my fire sign friends, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit.
Temperance showed up. The calming of the energies, the laying down of the weapons, but you're still drained. But maybe communication's improving. That could be. This Two of Cups down here could be a reconnection. We'll see. Usually it means a new connection. It could be a reconnection. We'll see what the clarifiers have to say. All right. All right. We know things were well. Things were fruiting. Things were fine. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? That's the curious part. Ace of Cups reversed, Karma reversed. Cup got kicked over. Judgment reversed. Why is judgment reversed here? Oh, wow. Okay, justice. How? Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes people have things that need they need to go clean up. And they leave a connection suddenly. It happens. It happens all the time. That may have been why. Things were going well and then they weren't. In the distant or semi-recent past, time is fluid, guys. Time's fluid. Just ask Neon. She'll tell you all about it. It's a man-made construct and it does not exist. Or it only exists here on Earth. That's a video for another day. A flip side video for another day at that. Why is the High Priestess here? take four. Why not? King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Hermit, Two of Pentacles reversed. Oh, well. Wands, wands, wands. That's a matched pair right there. That's the fire power couple. soulmates. Possibly twin flames. That's why you keep dreaming about each other. Or they're all up in your energy. They're all up in your thoughts. Maybe you're all up in their thoughts too. I mean, this is like 5D crap, guys. Hermit, two of pentacles reversed. Someone possibly walking that path to spiritual enlightenment. One of you possibly catching up to the other in this moment, figuring things out, doing a little internalizing. Two of Pentacles. Things just aren't even. Can I get one more on the Two of Pentacles reversed, please? One more on the Two of Pentacles reversed. Just for that Two of Pentacles reversed. Hi. High Priestess again. Figuring it out. Juggling those emotions. Maybe they're fighting their intuition. Maybe they're fighting what they know. Sometimes people be stubborn like that. Especially fire signs. 
I want what I want and I want it right now and I know what I know and I know that's not what I want even though if it's what's for me. See it all the time. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Star reversed. Flew right out. Did you see that? Flew right out. Yup all night, because you haven't healed from that yet. I don't think either one of you have. This was sudden. Things were going great, then they weren't. Gone. Confusion, out of control. Alright, enough about that, Jazz. What's happening this week? Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? Ace of Wands. One more. You want to talk. I'm going to let you. Nine of Wands. One last push. She ready to go. It's not a 10, but that adds up to 10. That ends up to the 10 wands of release. Releasing of a burdensome cycle. Coming out of a state of sadness. This was burdensome for possibly both of you. Because it ended so quickly. Y'all energetically been up in each other's crap. And that's a heck of a pair. They're a heck of a good looking pair too. Something happening this week. One more. I gotta get one more on that. Eight of Cups. Moving on. Some of you may move on from whatever this was, finally. Come out of that state of sadness. Go off somewhere else for one last try at a new start. Something passionate and wonderful. I like it. Emperor. Oh my gosh. I had a bunch of them. Nine of Swords. Queen of Cups reversed. I'm not going to take these two because they didn't show themselves to me. If they come back out, they come back out. Hmm, y'all. taking control back could be an area you're dealing with why is the nine sword showing back up why is the nine of sword showing back up Somebody might be moving on because they haven't healed yet and they need to go off and heal. Death. It's 
something cannot resurrect if it does not die. I think some of you are going to be processing some serious emotions this week and finally releasing something. Getting something off your chest, regaining control, letting something go. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Just accepting that it was not meant to fruit. Good possibility. Hmm. But why is the Two of Cups here? Four Wands. New connection, divine connection, doors opening, celebration, two of swords reversed with a difficult decision to make. I think part of this difficult decision is letting this go. Sometimes when you miss someone so much and you want someone so bad, that's why you stay in each other's energies. When you allow it to consume your thoughts like that and you don't release it, y'all releasing this week. You're allowing that change. You're, you're allowing regaining control. That's amazing. Because until you regain control of your energy and your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions, you can't move on to something that's meant for you. Let's get your advice. I still have the earth signs to go. Hangman reverse, six of swords reversed. Yeah. The longer you stay emotionally hung up in the hangman's gallows, unable to accept it, the longer it's going to take to go over the ocean, over the river, depends on how, how, how massive and big you make it. They're in a hot air balloon. Usually this is a river. I think there's a six of swords somewhere. Where is it? Was that this one? Maybe that was the last one. Yeah, that had to be something else. I'm getting people's readings mixed up now. Sorry. Until you accept it, you can't move on. And it may be time to move on. Because you cannot resurrect that which does not die. Seven of Cups reversed and the High Priest. Wow, that's a powerful message. Yeah, 
ones, ten of cups reverse. Okay. Sometimes when we move too quickly into connections, we forget the point behind it. And then emotions get confused. Sometimes soulmates come into our lives and it's not supposed to be a happy ending. Okay? Sometimes people come into our lives to teach us something. The soul lessons that we're supposed to learn while we're here. And that is the only reason they came in. So, you have to sort out the confusion and accept it. And ask yourself, what was I supposed to learn? And even if you don't get an answer right away, and you don't get an answer in five or ten years, as upset as this has made you, it won't be so much once you have that grand epiphany. Oh, that's what that was all about. So, moving forward, if you stay stuck here, you don't get that grand epiphany later. Don't stay stuck. Because this was meant to teach you something. And <clears throat> you have something beautiful and wonderful and new coming for you. And doors are going to open for it. It is up to you whether you decide to walk through that door. But if you want to stay here, that's fine. I mean, you were a matched pair. You were soulmates. But there again, some soulmates are not meant to stay. Okay? your lesson fire signs. Wow, that was, that was something, let me tell you. Woo! Woo! Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th to the 9th. What does the universe have in store for our Earth sign friends? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 5th through the 9th. Three of Wands reversed, Prince of Swords. <clears throat> hmm. You're not waiting for the truth anymore, are you? Wow. You could have found something out to be a third party or information that wasn't meant for your eyes or your ears. And you're no longer waiting for something. Hmm. Okay. The sun in the upright, the two of wands in the reverse. They made the sun shine in your life. That's soulmate energy. That's happiness. That's bliss. Two of Wands, unable to move forward on the path. You're stuck. You're stuck holding that wand of the past. Can't move. You're at the crossroads, not knowing which way to go. 
That's where you were. Where are you now? Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. That's refreshing. I'm going to have fun clarifying this one. Regained your independence. Ready to drive that chariot in the direction it's supposed to be going. The direction you want it to go. Because you're not waiting anymore. Oh, what changed? Because you weren't wanting to let go of that little ray of sunshine. What happened this week? What's happening this week? Two of cups, upright ace of wands, reverse. Okay. Three of cups, sorry, three of wands, two of wands, ace of wands, sun, fire energy, queen of pentacles, that's you, cancer energy with with the chariot, that's a water sign, two of cups. Hmm, not a whole lot of air. Huh, okay. Now I'm curious. Now I'm very curious, friends. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some cards on the table? Oh, to clarify what's on the table for. My Earth sign friends, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Six wands. More fire energy. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Six of wands is another card representing Leo. Could be a Leo. And maybe it was a Leo that brought sunshine into your life. Maybe it's the return of a Leo. You know, the zodiac signs don't matter. It's, if it's ringing an, an alarm, okay. If it's not, whatever. Something. You're not waiting for someone to come back. I think you waited for a while. I think that's what held you up. You found yourself worth again. You're in the chariot. You're ready to go forward where you want to go. Do what you want to do. Live your best life your way. You're ready for your victory. You're not waiting around for somebody else anymore. The sweet quasi two of cups here. You want to talk. We're going to let you. Emperor reversed. Mm. One more. Four of Pentacles. Well, you're letting go a little bit of that take charge energy. That my way or the highway energy. I like it. Not being so stiff and... Let's face it, the Emperor's a little bit stiff, just saying. Six of cups. Yes. Yes. 
I like it. I like it a lot. It's more water energy. I like it. You're letting go of letting go of old habits, old feelings, old connections, letting loose. Probably an old soulmate you're connecting with. Three of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed? Knight of Cups. Hmm. So those of you who are starting something new, something is budding. That Knight of Cups is an apology. That little bit of information that you weren't waiting for, for some of you. That communication that you weren't waiting for anymore. might be coming in this week. Possibly the third party that you heard things from or the thing that wasn't meant for your eyes or your ears may have been misinterpreted. This is just what I'm hearing and sensing. An apology may be coming in this week. The Emperor reversed is also someone who swallows their pride. Someone may be coming to you with a giant lump in their throat. It's up to you what you do with it. Judging by this Ace of Wands reversed, I don't think you're doing much. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here? I just need a clarifier. One card. Okay, gave me two. Hold on. Queen of Wands. Page of Wands. You know what I love about this? You're not going for it. I don't think you're going for it. I don't think you're going to take the apology very well because you see the Queen of Wands, she's a lot like the, the, the Queen of Pentacles. They know their worth and they don't take crap from anybody. You're going to maintain your self-worth. You see this little page of wands dude here? You see him? He's, he's, he's a cutie pie. He really is. He's waving goodbye. Peace, yo. I got something new going on here. And I, I, I accept your apology, but deuces, bro. Or deuces, chick, you know, just pick your pronoun, whatever. It resonates with you how it resonates with you. Let's get some advice. It's here in about 20 minutes. I'm going to be getting a phone call from Neon to come pick her up from work. So, okay. The Princess of Pentacles in the upright and the Hermit in the reverse. Do with it what you will. If they come in with that apology... You might want to make sure that apology is coming from an appropriate place. If you don't think that they've really walked that path of introspection and found that inner light and realized what they may have done wrong, it's up to you what you do with that apology. Okay? I'm just going to leave it at that. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Some of us are a little bit farther ahead on the path than others. The star in the upright and the page of swords in the upright.
truth can be healing. I love this phrase. The truth can set you free. And sometimes the best way to heal a connection is with the truth. Whether you speak it or receive it. Or both. Okay. That's what I have for you guys this week. Let me know what happens. I gotta put a kid to bed. And I'm gonna pack it up for the night. I will resume October readings tomorrow. When I get home from doing what I have to do. Mondays, you, you guys know very well Mondays are a bitch. Pardon my French. So... We'll see what tomorrow brings for dear old Faith, a.k.a. Big Mama Sag, and we'll, at the very least, if you've already received your October reading, catch you guys for the weekend top and bottom on Friday. Be blessed. Love yourself. Love each other. Okay? Be good to you and be good to them. Okay? Namaste. Love and light. Talk soon.